dear children today i will continue the same topic birds okay in last class we are already learned about the parts of the birds and also types of beaks in in this class we are going to learn learn about the feet and claws birds feet and claws birds has two legs in each leg birds has four toes observe here four toes and each toes has sharp edged claws okay children these claws of the birds are suited to their living habitat first perching birds okay birds like crow sparrow myna and pigeon have long and slender claws they have three toes in the front and one at the back side you observe here these types of toes help the birds to hold the branches of the trees firmly okay crow sparrow and pigeon are the perching birds next type of birds climbing birds birds like parrot and woodpecker have two toes in the front and two at the back they help them cling into the bark of the trees so that they can easily pick fruits example parrot you observe two toes in front and two toes at the back of the leg next type praying birds birds like eagle hawk owl and kite have strong and sharp spreading claws their claws help them to capture their prey and hold it firmly okay for example eagle eagle is a praying bird and also hawk owl kite these are all the examples for praying birds children here prey means an animal killed by another animal for food that is the prey okay next type wading birds birds like crane paddy bird and kingfisher have long and thin legs with wide spreading toes these toes help them to stand in water without their feet sinking into the soft mud or soil uh, what are which are the examples for birds examples for wading birds yes crane paddy paddy birds and kingfisher are the examples for wading birds next swimming birds birds like duck and swan have webbed feet observe here this is webbed feet their toes are joined together by their skin between the toes so we call it as webbed feet okay uh, birds like duck and swan has webbed feet okay give to examples for swimming birds yes swan and duck next scratching birds scratching birds birds like hen has three toes in the front and one at the back it scratches and digs the ground to bring out the insects and seeds children we know that birds fly easily in the air how does the bird fly let me know okay the bird of a the body of a bird is shaped like a boat what's the body shape of the bird yes birds has boat shaped body and head trunk wings legs and tail are the main parts which are the parts head trunk wings legs and tail are the main parts of the bird the bones are hollow birds can fly because they have a light but strong body it is covered with thick feathers okay a bird flies with the help of its two wings the tail of the bird helps it to change its direction during flight a bird also has strong muscles which help to move the wings up and down it has two types of movements you observe these two pictures this is upward stroke and the this is downward stroke. this is upward stroke and the downward stroke okay these are the two types of movements we see in the birds okay when a bird flies it flaps its wings and gradually goes up in the air the body of the bird is covered with thick feathers the feathers keep their body warm okay these are long and flat feathers mainly found on the wings and the tail you observe this uh, in tail and wings these feathers are long and flat okay there are soft and fluffy feathers that keeps their body warm there are soft and fluffy feathers remaining part of the body this helps to helps to body warm keeps the body warm and 
A bird builds nest. It also helps to protect their eggs from enemies and bad weather. They mainly use grass, twig, string, wool, feather, soil, rock and shell to build their nest. You can find a bird's nest in many different places like trees, terraces and even under the ground. The eggs are laid by the parent bird in the nest. When the egg hatches, the chicks comes out. The mother bird teaches them to fly. Okay, let's study the nesting habits of different birds. Observe this picture, children. Yes, this is tailor bird nest. The tailor bird uses its beak like needle and makes a hole in the leaves and it then sews various material like thread, straw, wool and twigs through the holes of the leaves, hence the name tailor bird. Okay, next weaver bird. The weaver bird weaves its nest from leaves, twigs and grasses. The entrance of the nest is from the bottom. This helps the bird to protect its eggs from enemies and rain. Okay, next penguin. Penguins live in cold places where they cannot find twigs and grasses so they collect pebbles and stones to build a nest in the ground. Penguins use pebbles and stones to build a nest. Okay, next woodpecker. Woodpecker builds its nest by digging a hole in the trunk of the tree with the help of its beak. Okay, next we move on to exercise activities. First main multiple choice questions. A bird uses its dash for eating and drinking. A bird uses its wing, claws, beak, feather. Which is the correct answer? Yes, beak is the correct answer. You have to write here beak. A bird uses its beak for eating and drinking. Which of the following has a strong sizzle shaped beak? Pigeon, woodpecker, eagle, parrot. Which is the correct answer? Woodpecker. Woodpecker has sizzle shaped beak. Next, birds fly with the help of their wings, claws, feathers, none. Which is the correct answer? Wings. Birds fly with the help of their wings. Which of the following has webbed feet? Duck, ostrich, kiwi, swallow. Which is the correct answer? Yes, duck. Duck has webbed feet. Next, penguins use pebbles and dash to build their nest. Yes. Grass, feather, twig, stone. Which is the correct answer? Stone is the correct answer. Penguin use pebbles and stones. Stones to build their nest. Next second main. Fill in the blanks with the correct words. Okay. The feet of an eagle have dash and sharp claws. The feet of an eagle have dash and sharp claws. Uh, which word you choose? Yes. Strong. The feet of an eagle have have strong and sharp claws. Next, a parrot used its dash beak for cracking nuts. What type of beak? Yes, hooked beak. The parrot uses its hooked beak for cracking nuts. Next, third one. A bird's body is covered with dash. A bird's body is covered with fully feather. F E A T H E R feather. You read. Next, a bird's body is shaped body is shaped like a dash. What shape? Yes, boat shape. You have to write here boat. Fifth one, ducks have dash feet. Ducks have dash feet. Web bed feet. Web bed feet. Children, let me see some question answer. Question and answers. Name three. Name three. Okay. Perching birds and praying birds. Perching birds and praying birds. Perching birds, crow, sparrow. Praying birds, eagle, owl. Perching birds, Crow, sparrow, pigeon. Praying birds, eagle, owl, hawk. Okay, next. Name two birds that have webbed feet. Name two birds that have webbed feet. Duck and swan have webbed feet. Duck and swan have webbed feet. Name the main body parts of a bird. Head, trunk, wings, legs and tail. Okay, why do birds build nest? Because Nests help to protect their egg from enemies and bad weather. Because nests help to protect their eggs from the enemies and bad weather. See children, here two riddles are there. Answer, find out the answer, okay? I will read you. I have a hooked beak. I use my feet to hold on the uh, hold on to the branches of trees. I love to eat chillies. 
who am i what's the answer which bird yes parrot p a r r o t parrot parrot is the answer next riddle is i have a scissor shaped beak i use my beak to dig holes into the trunk of the tree to make my nest i love to eat insects who am i i have a scissor shaped beak i use my beak to dig holes into the trunk of a tree to make my nest i love to eat insects who am i yes what's the answer woodpecker woodpecker who am i woodpecker w o o d p e c k e r woodpecker